Students, I have terrible news that I need to tell you right away. It cannot wait another single second. Is this recording? Hello? Am I muted? No? No? Oh, oh. Am I talking loud enough? Oh, maybe if I get closer. Ah, yes. You know how... Oh, as I was saying, I have some truly devastating information. Our musical has been canceled. Oh, you have all worked so hard, and I was so looking forward to our dress rehearsal tonight. But now I'm sorry to report that our production of Brushes with Greatness, the dental hygiene musical, will never see the light of day. The world will never witness your interpretation of this great American classic. <sighs> I know they always say that the show must go on, but now it can't. Oh, um, <clears throat> oh, that's, um, um, I should go. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Goodbye for now. Oh, oh, uh, how do I hang this up? Siri, in video. Okay, great. That was easy. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hi, Principal Fullen. Yes, I know the show is canceled. What? No! Well, the drama department can't be shut down permanently. I know the musical was supposed to raise money for next year, but well, no, don't don't go. We we can't get rid of the entire drama program. Oh. Goodbye. Oh, the video didn't send yet. Maybe if I click this button that says send, it'll. Calling all cast and crew, calling all cast and crew. Did you see that video? Wow, Miss Tori does not know how to use technology. But more importantly, we can't lose the drama department. We have to do something, no matter what obstacles we face. Life mirrors art, and it's just like our musical. Like Bob Fosse says, at the start of Brushes with Greatness. We don't give up, we don't give in. We journey on, we rise again, although we face our greatest foe. We don't give up, yes, yes, I know. We'll tell that black and ginger boy it is to just stay away. With brush and fall together, we can keep back to decay. Well, maybe not that last part, but you know what I mean. Let me know what you think. Hello, fellow thespians. I'm speaking to you all from Ensign and Cottage, where I traded as soon as I heard the terrible news. I've decided to move in here and hide away from the world. After all, if there's no musical theater, then what's the point of going outside? I will spend the rest of my days nestled amongst my old costumes, my tap shoes, and my sign per poster from last year's production of Seasical the Musical. I was a great year to the turtle, wasn't I? Oh, don't cry for me, for castmates. I'll be fine. I'll be here. Tweeting at Lynn and while Miranda while quietly having the score to Pippin for the rest of eternity. Good luck with the rest of your lives. So long. Farewell. Off Wiederson. Bye. Look, we can't just crawl into our closets. We have to bring brushes with greatness to life and save the drama program. videos on technology, maybe we could just do this whole play online. Well, I mean, if you can order Ben Platt's used tissue online, you could totally do a show on. Not that anyone would order a used tissue online. I mean, what kind of person would spend $40 on something like that? Totally ridiculous. I know I wouldn't. Yuck. All I'm saying is, you can do a lot online. We could piece the scenes together and record a whole <laughs> musical. <laughs> Ew. 
go. Oh dear, Evan Hansen. What have I done? Yes, that's a genius idea. Not the $40 tissue. That's ridiculous. But a virtual musical is a great idea. We'll perform. Brushes with greatness. The dental hygiene musical at home. And stream it online. Check it out. I can do the opening number from my living room. <laughs> she's going to like this idea very much. How do we get her to agree? Um, I might have an idea how to get Miss Tori to agree. I wrote a little something. I'm not sure if it's any good, but we have to say the drama club, so here goes nothing. admit at first I was hesitant but ah! after hearing that song I say we go for it the show must go online please reach out to me with any questions you have about the performances or, or the technology I have a hotmail account and an AOL account I'm very connected you have all inspired me and given me hope now let the dress rehearsal begin. Okay, Siri, end video. Wait, I mean, send. That should do it. Oh, I wonder how they found out the drama department was in danger. Oh, Mr. Whiskers, do you have any idea? Me either. Oh, Mr. Whiskers, did you know I performed in Cats once? I was tremendous. Meow, 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 Oh, oh. Oh, look, Mr. Whiskers. I've never sent. Siri, you troublemaker. I got this. Okay, so. So, Miss Tori sings to cats. Good to know. Anyway, dress rehearsal. I was thinking since we're at home, we could get creative. Like doing the toothbrushing songs in an actual bathroom with an actual toothbrush and toothpaste. Check it out. This could be great for the big plaques battle at the end of the show where plaques all like. This mouth is my domain now. I don't want you around. 
I'm sick of dealing with your flossing, brushing sound. And then our heroes come in to save the day. Like? That was some amazing toothbrushing. Great form. Though, I guess it was kind of hard to hear the lyrics. Well, we'll work on that later. Anyway, I've been working on the perfect way to perform Plaque Song in the Great Gum Canyon. I've had some interruptions before, but I think we'll be fine. This is, I'm pretty sure, scene three, take six. I like it, Q-U-I-E-T Yes, quiet is the best for me How I like the lovely hush Away from the buzzing brush Oh, fa-la-la, tra-la-la, shibbity -la, 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 It's quiet time for me Fa-la-la-la-la-la-la Tra la 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 li. Tra la 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 la. Knock it off! Quiet time for me. Hi, hi, hi. Guess what? I have a dog. His name is Max. He can sit and stay and, um, eat. Actually, he eats a lot, and he sleeps a lot. I'd say he's a stellar sleeper. He's also good at sniffing and looking things, and just great at being the best. I know this doesn't have anything to do about the musical, but I just w wanted to show you how cute he is. I mean, have you, any, ev have you ever seen anything more cuter than his face? Okay, that's it. Bye! Back to the musical, it's your trusty costume designer here. Now remember, even though our costumes are at the school, we can still get creative from home. After all, this is our dress rehearsal. As we discussed last week, our base costume would be all black, no logos, no designs. Yes, that includes your Olaf t-shirt, Toby. Let it go, let it go. Now, I have some suggestions for everyone. Listen up. For Tommy toothbrush and my other toothbrushes, I want you to get some hairbrushes and tape them to your hands like this. See, it's real easy. And now, the other hand. <laughs> well, once you have one on, it does make it a little harder to do the second hand. <gasps> Never mind, you can just hold them in your hands like this. See, like a toothbrush with bristles. And then you can dance and sing easily. Though I suppose if you have to pick something up. Oh, never mind. Just get creative, people. Don't let me down. Thanks for the costume tips. This next song is the emotional center of the entire story. That heart-wrenching moment when Tommy Tooth apologizes. I've been practicing my expressions in the mirror all day. And I think I may have achieved the Audra McDonald level performance. Now, all I have to do is catch it on camera. But that seems easy enough. Here I go. When you look at my face, you can clearly see I need you. When you look at my heart, you can understand I care. If you take a deep look into my eyes, you'll see a soul that never lies. My face, my heart, my smile, my teeth, my eyes. Wow, that was some well, Your singing was great, but your camera work was a bit off. I have an idea that might make things easier. What if Tommy Tooth played an actual toothbrush? That way, you can see the full body while singing. Brilliant, right? When you look at my face, you can clearly see I need you amazing, right? When you look at my heart, you will understand I care. 
What a performance. If you take a good look with your eyes out. Look, that's a good um, My face, my heart, my smile, my teeth, my eyes. Okay, maybe that wasn't the best idea. Hello from Real Light Designer, and I thought I'd demonstrate some light fixtures that you may put in your home. For example, the light switch. You can turn it on or off. Bye out! Or you can keep it on or off depending how you like it. And then you have dimmers. Some people don't have them, but if you do, you can dim them. See? And then we have the lamp. The lamp, you can turn them on or off. And then you can keep some on or off. And that's about it. Good luck then, I guess. What's up? Spotlight on me. As you all know, this next song contains the most important information in the whole musical. And that is why I will be demonstrating it for you. It's the big reveal, and the stakes are extremely high. If the audience misses this, well then, the whole musical will fall apart, and we mustn't let that happen. So you must be extremely clear, like so. As we ready for this battle, our biggest battle yet, I'm reminded of a hero whose name I can't forget. Who makes the evil forces wits? And his name is Line. What's the line? Right, right, right. Okay, going on now. He's daring. He's caring. He is everybody's friend. His name will live forever. I remember to the end. I've met him and liked him ever since. Was his name right 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 okay and his name is well i guess we'll never know his name will we we are moments away from showtime i want everyone to stay calm we are going to be Fine. Fine? Okay, we're going to be fine. I bet you're fine because I am fine. Because calm is contagious and I'm totally calm. Calm. Okay, you guys are all doing great. Really good stuff. Just, I have a few tips before we start the show. First, find a quiet spot to record. Second, remember your lines, even the important ones. Third, you see this toothbrush? I don't want it in your mouth when you are singing. I'm begging you. Fifth, don't buy a $40 used tissue online. It's not about the show, just don't do it. For goodness sake, don't, 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 don't. Okay, we're, remember this is just family and friends. It's going to be fine, it's going to be fun. No pressure at all. Some news. Uh, looks like Kristen Bell found out about our show. And uh, she somehow tweeted out the link, and now 50,000 people have RSVP'd. But that's fine. We're going to be. We're going to be fine.
hello to all of our viewers and welcome to our virtual theater. My students tell me this is being broadcast live across the interwebs. Thank you for joining us. As always, I want to remind you to unwrap your candy and put all of your cell phone and devices away. Oh, a message. My stage manor has manager has just reminded me that you're watching this on your devices so i suppose don't put those away that is neat anywho some of you have been with us since the beginning from our very first production of in the tights a shakespearean hip-hop opera those were the days and some of you are experiencing our drama club for the very first time we want to thank you all for your support. This program means so much to us and we would hate the thought of losing it forever. <laughs> but never mind all that. Now, without further ado, I give you Brushes with Greatness, a dental hygiene musical. that had some teeth. There's been a silent battle just beneath. And who fights that battle? We've known them since youth. Our heroes both Flossie and Tommy Tooth. Uh-oh, here comes the fight. I'm enamored with the enamel and the gums. Gingivitis is my very best of charms. And between the two of us, we will attack. If you're lacking dental hygiene, watch your back. Come listen to their brush, 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 brushes of greatness. A musical inside your jaw. Wisdom teeth and holy molars in the cast. Yeah, brace yourself for ten excitement, hold it fast. Woo, welcome to our show, Brushes with Greatness. Tommy Tooth, the legendary toothbrush, is that you? Who is asking? It's me, Bob Flossie, your old floss pal. I haven't seen you since the deep cleaning of 92 where you banished Haley Tosis. She was terrible. You were legendary. That was a long time ago, kid. I don't clean mouth no more. I'm retired. But we got a plaque situation on our hands, and nobody cleans mouths like you. Plaque's too big, big for me now, kid. There's no hope. I give up. No, I refuse to accept that. We don't give up. We don't give in. We journey on. We rise again. Although we face our greatest foe, we journey on. Yes, this I know. We'll tell that plaque and gingivitis to just stay away. With brush and floss together, we can keep back the decay. So what do you say? All right, Flossy, I'm in. Hey there, it's me, Plaque, and I think I found the perfect place to live. This map is amazing. Look at all the tartar and buildup in this glorious gum canyon. Shh. Do you hear that? No? That's because it's the sound of perfect silence and serenity. And there's not a toothbrush or floss in sight. And I'm totally positive that they're not anywhere nearby eavesdropping. Amazing. I like it, Q-U-I-E-T. Yes, quiet is the best for me. How I like the lovely hush. 
away from the buzzing brush. Oh, ba la la, tra la la, shibbity doobity dance. Quiet time for me. This is the best. I'm so glad I banished Tommy Tooth, Bob Flossie, and the worst mouth cleaner of all. He should not be named. Ugh. I like the food quite sugary. Yes, candy fills my heart with glee. Nothing like a sweet old snack to give a boss a good old play. That's me. Forget to floss. I'm the boss. Thank you for setting me free. It's party time for me. My name is P L A Q E. I mean, you. I'm working on a cavity. My favorite word of all is neglect. I strike when you least expect. Say it okay every day. Cavity, cavity, weeds. Quiet time for shh. Quiet time for shh. Quiet time for me. I cannot deny I love it so quiet. The silence is what I enjoy. Hey, tell me too. Did you hear what Plaque just said as we were totally eavesdropping? Sure did, kid. Who is he? He must not be a name. Sounds like he's our only hope at defeating Plaque. Do you know him? Do I? <laughs> as we ready for this battle, our biggest battle yet, I'm reminded of a hero who I never could forget. The one who makes the evil forces win. And his name is Harold Renz. Harold Renz. He's caring, he is daring, he is everybody's friend. His name will forever, I'll remember till the end. And I have liked him ever since. And his name is Harold Renz. So wake up to it, that's what he just meant. Harold will take care of you, so pray. Not for oil, he would be the prince. Harold Renz, Harold Renz, Harold Renz. Oh, my old friend, it's me, Tommy Tooth. I knew I'd find you in the canine cavern. Wait, before you scamper off, just hear me out. I'm really sorry about the great peanut butter on the roof off the mouth mishap of age seven. I know I blamed you, but I was the one to blame. Now we have a serious plot problem and we need your help, partner. I'm begging ya. Harold, I know we've been down this road before and you said you never work with me again. Yes, I know I've made mistakes. It's the tooth I've caused some makes. Just know that you will always be my friend When you look in my face You can clearly see I need you When you look in my heart You will understand I care Hell, I do care When you take a deeper look into my eyes You'll see a soul that never lies My face, my heart, my smile, my teeth, my eyes Harold, I love you too. Now let's go pulverize some plaque. Plaque, why couldn't you have stayed away for once? Harold Rince, Tommy Tooth, Bobby Flossie. That's right, and we want you out of this mouth. Forget it. This is my turf now, and I think this tooth is ready for extraction. Don't you? No, not the molar. <laughs> This mouth is my domain now, I don't want you around. I'm sick of dealing with your flossing, brushing sounds. Leave that tooth alone! Never! Then it's time for battle! Come on, team! No roots will die, defying cavities. Kiss black goodbye, defying cavities. This two can't be pulled out. I won't go easily, and neither will my friend, gingivitis. Oh no, there's two of them. 
That's right, and we're gonna wreck this tooth. Wait, please, you have to see reason. Beautiful, this mouth could be so beautiful. We know every molar and incisor could be clean. Boo, attack, get him! We're fighting back, defying cavities. So take that black, defying cavities. This tooth can't be pulled out. No, we did it! Yeah, rinse and spit, pull out the gauze. There is greatness found between the jaws. Together we have saved this mouth. Incredible, truly remarkable. That was the greatest defying cavities I've ever seen since Adele Dazeem made her off, off, off Broadway debut. Now, I want to thank you all for tuning in. It means the world to us. And, oh, goodness, I'm terribly sorry. No phones in the theater, I should go. Thank you, thank you all. Hello, Principal Fullen. Oh, you watched. Oh, they did? They do? Oh, that's wonderful news. Thank you, thank you so much for saving the drama club. All right, of course, of course. We'll be back again next year with Greasy, the Car Mechanic Musical. <laughs> All right, thanks again. Talk to you later, bye. Is this still recording? What is up with this technology? It's almost as if I left it on on purpose. Well, since I have you here, kids, if you're watching, thank you. You were wonderful, spectacular. Even though you weren't together, you worked as an ensemble and as a team and created something truly special. I'm so grateful to be your teacher, and I'm so glad the show went online. The school is closed, the theater too. What are the actors supposed to do?